Hello and welcome back to Tom's computer channel. In this episode we fix this Commodore 64G. This is the Commodore 64 of one of my previous videos. I um, refurbished this one. I make a full recapping and retro writing and clean this all up. Uh, in the meantime this um, C64 get a fold. I will see you in this video and I hope I can fix this. This refurbished video from this C64 I link in the info card in the corner and also I put the link in the description down below. So let's uh, plug this to the TV and make a test, you can see the fault. So, all is connected to the TV. Now we switch this on and we show what the fault is. You see the RAM test is good, the PLA is good, the ROMs are good, the control port are bad, and we have a bad CIA. And now the picture is glitching with the noise channel on the sit. I have changed the sit um, for some tests. In here is the original one and now trees. And with the uh, other sit it's the same fault. So now we can see if we can fix this. So here we have the main board and at first we change the U1 CIA chip. Oh, let's go. After we apply fresh solder, we Solder this.
now we will use a little bit of hot air to help this come out. Now the holes are free and we they, uh, we sold a new socket on and then we test a second time. It's so stiff and tight. You don't need uh, everything to hold. So now we clean it up. And then the second test. Now we put the new CIA in and then let's go. So now we make the next test after changing the CIA so what do you see it powers on normally
it says control foot bed, sit bed, but sounds it there. So we have to take a look. What's the fault? And now back on the so bench. The next step is after replacing the CIA to replace this analog to, uh, switch. This could be uh, something to do with the fault, the keyboard fault in the test. This switch is connected to the keyboard and to the uh, SID chip. So let's try. Now put a new socket in. Oh. It's like the socket, of, socket from, the, from the CIA, very tight, so we don't need any tape. It's good. The last thing we have to do is So put a new 466 in and then let's try. So let's test. So the test harness is connected and let's, let's see if this things work now. Oh no, the set is almost bad.
Oh oh. And it froze. So that's not good. So I end up this video here. You see it uh, doesn't work. Uh, now um, I can't fix, but I have uh, not enough parts for this. And um, I made a few tests and um, the CIA has gone bad. One CIA is good and I have changed this. Um, and so I think it's maybe the, the CPU. So I must show that I get that I get a CPU and then I can make a video for um, make the repair finish. So you see that's gonna happen. And so I see you in the next video. Bye.